In order to build a reactor to precipitate struvite using only recycled materials, the following tools are needed. One plastic tube for sewer drain of the diameter of 140 mm and 200 mm high. One screw cap joint for PVC pipes of 140 mm diameter drilled on top. One plastic funnel. One PVC faucet for irrigation system. One rubber tube. One threaded bar with a diameter of 8 mm and 400 mm long. Four nets for threaded bars. Two clamps for threaded bars. Four rolls for clamps. Two washers with a diameter of 13 mm. Two connecting screws. One hemisphere bolt drilled on top. And two plastic little wings. Firstly, heat the plastic funnel in order to join it to the PVC tube and fix it using hot glue. Stick the PVC faucet for irrigation system to the funnel. After having properly bent the threaded bar, insert into its upper part a piece of the rubber tube. In order to speed up this operation, the tube could be heated. Then, add the drilled hemisphere bolt to the top of the fitting screw cap and tighten the connecting screw, pulling from downwards. After that, stick the lid, insert the washers and tighten the two rolls. Finally, fix the two plastic little wings to the threaded bar using clamps. The reactor is now ready to be used for the extraction of struvite. For the second part of the experience, in addition to the reactor, we need a filter, a 500 ml flask, a funnel, synthetic urine, magnesium sulfate, sodium hydroxide 0.5 molar and pH indicator. Add the magnesium sulfate to the synthetic urine and adjust its pH to 8 by adding a few drops of sodium hydroxide if necessary. Put the reactor on a holder and underneath place a flask provided with a funnel with filter. Pour the synthetic urine into the reactor and turn the handle for at least an hour so to encourage the struvite precipitation. Wait a few hours to complete the precipitation and open the faucet slowly and filter the solution with filter paper to collect the precipitate. Let the filtrate dry at room temperature.